On the sidelines of his participation in the 14th Manama Dialogue, UK's Minister of State for the Middle East and North Africa, Alastair Burrs, accompanied by British Ambassador Simon Martin, paid a visit to Beit al-Quran. He was welcomed by Chairman of the Board of Trustees of King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence, Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and Deputy Chairman and Head of This, bah this is Bahrain Society, Betsy Matheson, in addition to one of the founders of Beit al-Quran, Abdul Latif Kano. The minister toured the museum and looked at several documents that outlined the Islamic history as well as the Abrahamic history. He commanded at the displays at the museum and highlighted the excellent relations that links the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Kingdom in all fields. The tolerance of Bahrain uh, is, is well known uh, and it's deeply important in a region and in a world which is very conflicted that His Majesty is so determined to carry on the traditions of Bahrain means a great deal. And from the enthusiasm of people here and the goodwill of people here, that tolerance means even more today perhaps than it used to in the past. Can't be taken for granted and is much to be celebrated. Well, uh, Alistair Burt, the Minister for the Middle East, knows Bahrain extremely well. Uh, but we discovered that he'd never been to the Beit al-Quran, so uh, it was a wonderful opportunity for him to meet uh, uh, representatives of a number of different faiths um, organized by the King Hamad Center for uh, Interreligious Tolerance. We were honored to have uh, Minister Alistair Burt with us today um, and I think that he was very touched by um, some of the very rare manuscripts he saw here today. The fact that the Quran of course has been translated into many languages throughout the world and some of these rare pieces that um, we were honored to see today with Dr. Abdul Latif Khanu, uh, one of the founders of Beit al-Quran. Extremely rare but extremely beautiful. The, the, the richness of the calligraphy and the artwork um, printed into papyrus, printed into paper using gold and using sandalwood. And I think that uh, this really touched the heart of the minister. He really appreciated the um, freedom of faith and how deeply um, faith communities here in Bahrain interact. And uh, that's a result of our peaceful coexistence. And peaceful coexistence is something that in the Kingdom of Bahrain, we wish for all people of the world. We wish everyone to be able to live as we do. And the minister noted that Bahrain has a rich um, and long-standing culture, heritage and tradition. And and that, as in the United Kingdom, its, its religious freedom is protected by law. The British University of Bahrain hosted today a visit by UK's Minister of State for the Middle East and North Africa, Alastair Burt, accompanied by British Ambassador Simon Martin and Deputy British Ambassador Muqbal Ali. Burt was briefed on the development of the British University of Bahrain, a partnership with the University of Salford, UK, which allows students in Bahrain to gain a British University degree without travelling abroad. He learned that the partnership between BUB and Salford means that Bahraini students are able to gain degrees which are identical in content and standards to those which they would receive in the UK. After a tour of the BOB campus, Bert was able to interact with a number of BOB students and staff members. He com commented on that it was particularly pleasing to meet a number of female students pursuing degrees in civil engineering, a profession in which women are traditionally underrepresented both in Bahrain and the UK.